This video is going to go over some financial information on budgeting. We're going to look at monthly expenses and calculate the percentage that's spent out of the whole budget in each category. <coughs> a few things we want to go over first is some vocabulary. Um, taxes are an amount of money that's deducted from your paycheck before you get it. And the way we're going to calculate taxes is we are going to multiply the annual income that's given to us by the tax rate, but we'll turn it into a decimal first. Okay, then there's an example. Um, I would take my annual salary, 75000 The percentage is 35%, so it would turn into 0.35. Remember, anytime you get your percent, you would divide it by 100. I could add that in here. We would divide by 100, and then that gives us our percentage. And then the amount of money you get is what you pay in taxes. The next thing is annual in, or net annual income. And to get the net annual income, you would subtract the amount of taxes from the annual income or the salary that you are given. The leftover amount would be what you actually get to keep and then spend during the month. The third one is net monthly income. So these two things have net in them. That means you actually get it. <clears throat> in order to do that, you just simply divide your net annual income by 12, and then the amount that's left over is how much you can spend each month. The last thing is we're gonna calculate the percentage of the budget that each category is taking up. In order to do that, you would divide the amount that you actually spend in each category by the net monthly income. Then to turn that answer actually into a percentage, you would also write multiply by 100. An example at the bottom here, if the monthly income, the net monthly income was $6,250, if someone spent $2,400 on their housing, then I would take that amount for the one category, divide it by my net monthly income, multiply it by 100, and then my answer that shows up on my calculator is my actual percentage. So now let's look at an example. On this question, it says DeAndre is an entrepreneur. He's a family of four. His annual salary is $65,000 and his tax rate is 28%. So first we need to calculate his amount of actual taxes in dollars. We know the percentage, but now we need to find it in just dollars. So we said earlier, take your annual salary and multiply it by the percent as a decimal. I'm just going to do that in this little box right here. I'll zoom in a tiny bit. Okay, the annual salary was 65000 So I'm going to type this in my calculator. 65000 times 0.28. Remember, you're just taking your percentage and dividing by 100 then that's gonna tell me my amount of dollars spent in taxes. It is $18,200. Then the next thing in the chart is net annual income. This means how much money do you actually get to keep after you paid your taxes. So in order to get this amount, I would need to subtract the dollar quantity for taxes from my annual salary. Let's see if I can fit this in here. So $65,000 minus $18,200, that's going to be $46,800 for my net annual income. Then to get my net monthly income, now how much do I have every single month to spend on my budget? I simply take what I was going to get for the year and now divide it by 12 because there's 12 months in the year. So $46,800 divided by 12 and that equals $3,900. Then the next thing we're going to look at on this slide is over here on this far right side, the percent column is not filled in. So what we want to try to do is, if I know I have $3,900 to spend, this is the quantity I'm spending in dollars. 
the actual amount that I'm spending in dollars. We're going to use that to fill in the percent column. So the way to do that from the last slide, it was, I'm going to take each dollar amount and I'm going to divide it by the <clears throat> dollars I have for the whole month and then multiply by 100. So for example, if I want to do housing, okay, it was $1,200. So I would say 1200 divided by 3,900, then times 100. That makes it turn into a percent for my final answer. So I get 30, I get 30.76. Okay, I could round that up and say 30.8 if I zoom in. 30.8%. I'm going to leave one digit behind the decimal just so I can get really close to 100% for my total. The next one, I'm going to do just a couple of these. Um, I have groceries. So in order for me to do that, I take the amount of money in groceries, which was $950, divide it by 3900 because that's my net monthly income, times it by 100 so the answer turns into a percentage for me. And I get 24.35. Again, I can look at that last digit and I can round it up. So my percent would be 24.4%. I could do one last question. I'll do transportation. Transportation is 490. So I would follow the same process. I would do 490 divided by my net monthly income of 3,900, times it by 100 so it turns into a percent. I get 12.56. Then that last digit is enough for me to round it up. So on my table up here, I could put 12.6%. Then when I get all the way finished, I could add these up. And I should get extremely close to 100%, which is my total budget. We are rounding slightly, so it's probably going to go over just a tiny bit. But that's okay. All right, the last thing we're going to look at is how to analyze what your spending habits are for the month. We're going to see if you stayed on budget, if you went over, or if you went under budget. So on... The left side of your notes page, we have this circle graph. And at the top of it, it says projected. This is what you think you're going to spend. It's just an estimate. You estimate or you think this is what you will spend. Now, once it actually happens and you have the real amount of dollars that you did end up spending for the month, we could compare the percentage that we thought we would spend with the real money and see what's the difference between those. Did we stay on budget? Did we go over budget or under budget? The way you turn your percent number into actual dollars, I just take my monthly income and I multiply it by the percent, but we're going to make sure we turn that into a decimal. So on housing, 30% would be 0.30%. Groceries, 20% would be 0.20. Transportation, 15% would be 0.15. So now I'm going to do those on the side and then we'll look at the projected versus the actual. So for housing, the net monthly income, remember, was 3,900. I'm going to times it with my percent, but as a decimal, so that's 0.30. I get $1,170. If I put that in my chart, $1,170. This person went over budget. Okay, I'm going to subtract these. So they're higher. So that is a over budget. They went positive $30.
over budget. I could, uh, let's see, I'll switch this. Oh, goodness. All right, so positive 30. So for this one, they went over budget because they spent more. Then to do groceries, my monthly income was 3,900 times the percent. 20% was 0.20. When you multiply that together, you get $780. So I'm going to put that in my table. This one, they also went over budget. You can see they spent $950 and they only thought they would spend $780. So I'm going to say they went over budget. When I subtract those, it's a positive $170. Wow. That is really big time over budget. Okay, the last one I'm going to do um, is transportation. Again, monthly budget, 3,900 times the percent, 0.15. When you multiply that together on your calculator, it's $585. So I'm going to put in, they thought they would spend $585, but really, they went under budget this time. When I subtract those, I get a negative amount because he spent less than he thought, and it would be negative $95. Okay, so that was pretty good. Sometimes you go over and sometimes you go under, and sometimes you spend exactly what you want. But the way to do that is multiply your monthly income times your percent, but make sure you type it in as a decimal.